So I had a call from one of my customers about programming a Renault Premium air dryer. No problem I said, I can take a look. With the dash going crazy and no air pressure gauge working, further investigation was required into what we needed to do. As always, Eclipse Diagnostics was able to come to the rescue in the form of Nor Brems Neo Green. All that was required was a remote install and a quick firmware update which allowed me to access Nor Brems dealer software. Now the old air processing unit was this model here which at the end of 2023 was discontinued and replaced with the new model with this part number which you can see on the Norbrems website. And this is what we have fitted here. So for starters I'm going to plug in the old air processing unit ECU as we may need the data tables from it. So. Let's get into using NeoGreen to sort this out. One of the advantages of buying this from Eclipse is you can just use the VCI for JAL test. No extra hardware to purchase and no waiting days for it to show up. Once NeoGreen had loaded, we'll just click on the applications menu here and we can then go into all the various things that you can do with this system, such as the EBS, lane departure, suspension, rear steer, trailers, all the Norbrems gear basically but we want electronic air controller today. One thing I know I will use this for is DAF smart air controllers, but today we're going to be doing EAC1, not EAC2. So let's get this plugged in. We need the ignition off, which it is already, and from here we can select our diagnostic adapter. Well, I'm using the standard OBD plug that comes with the JAL test link. We're asked to plug it into the truck as per the image, so now we have it plugged in. After the quick check of the power supplies, we can get the ignition on. We're now asked to connect the link to the computer via the USB lead and the system can connect to the air dryer and identify its configuration. I'm not going to save the vehicle data just yet as I want to get into this. So I'm not bothered about fault codes in this unit as I just want to get our ECU to the testing menu. So now it's prompting me for the chassis number which I'll just paste in here and we can save the configuration file for later. With this done we're now finally at our testing menu. Here we have more options such as testing with guided diagnostics but I want ECU replacement and that's what I'm going to do here. With the software validating the ECU, it then asks us if we want to replace the ECU, which is what we want to do today. So with a click of the yes button, Neo Green has read the data and we are now then prompted to turn off the ignition and connect the new EAC. So we best do that then. With our old ECU removed, I can put the plug back onto the new EAC unit. We'll carry on this process by turning the ignition on. Neo Green will now write our old data sets to the new EAC. And with this process completed, the unit checks for fault codes and prompts us to install the EAC, which the customer already did. So the only thing left for me to do is slap a cable tie on this wire, see if the air pressure gauge is working in the cab and the dash isn't going crazy. Now with the latest update of 24.1 on JAL test, you have access to really great features through Eclipse, such as the newly launched JAL test central services. This is where you can book technicians to remotely program ECUs through JAL test and the best thing is it's pay per use, so it won't affect your subscription costs unless you need the service. I know this service is new, so I'd keep checking Eclipse's website for available services as who knows what's going to be added next. My fingers are crossed for DAF engine ECUs. So what did you think of the NeoGreen software and JAL test launch in central services? Comment down below like if you haven't, subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you in the next one.